Hey guys and welcome to my channel. It's the travel and food after here. And today we are at the Amber Palace in Jaipur. Look at this magnificent palace. This belongs to Man Singh, the first king of Jaipur. He was he actually worked for Akbar supposedly. Before becoming the king, Ashwik is already in his Rajasthani attire. Ashwik, say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. <laughs> Which is oversized topi. Let's see, there are some 185 steps up ahead. So that's going to be some task. And this is the lake just in front of it. Again, you'll be kind of pestered with a guide requirement for a guide, but you don't actually need any some 22 spots. The Amber Palace is also known as the Amar Fort. It is a majestic complex perched atop a hill overlooking the Mauta Lake near Jaipur, India. Start the climb. Pretty crowded today. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it is famous for its architecture, which is built in the 16th century. Now we finally found a topi which fits Ashwik. So now we have two of them. One for mom and one for Ashwik. Both are looking very good. You can buy some jewelry here on the way to the fort. 185 steps so we are going to find lots of crowd and lots of shops. Lots of touts, lots of guides. They are going to continually pester you. Look at this guy. Ashwik. So these steps are a bit large, so that makes it difficult for the enemy to come up. <laughs> so let's catch up on the top. Well, shoot directly up in the fort. The fort is a blend of Rajput military architecture with some Mughal influences. The Amber Palace uses pale yellow and pink sandstone along with white marble creating a stunning visual effect. It is divided into four main sections each with its own courtyards. Mauta Lake Ashwik is very excited to reach the top. We are almost there, so decent climb. Not that. Yes, it is a bit stressful, but still manageable. Quite manageable. And the vehicles to come to the top, your private vehicles. And come up to here. So that's not an issue. Good. Ashwik, wait. The daddy nation. So Ashwik found someone else. Dawa, yes, you are not going to have it. Okay. 
Yes, Lalmas. After a nice wholesome meal. The fort offers a glimpse into the lives of the Rajput royalty. In the gate, with nice music playing, you can give him some whatever you please. Bhairo, you also get such electric vehicles to the top eco-friendly ride to a man, you can offer them. And we enter, finally after the climb. Look at this beautiful fort. Wow. I can actually see another fort from here. They don't allow you to wait near the entrance. You have some two cannons. Again, you will get lots of requests from the guides. You can have them at your own discretion. Still a small climb left. Yes, Ashwik wants to tell us something. Ashwik, do you want to? Yes, let's go to the top. Yes, come on. Ashwik is guiding us all the way to the top. Let's just follow him. He knows the way. Rishto ke bhi roop patalte hai He's a Tulsi Virani for us today Mani! Mani! You got more steps and there's a monkey There's a monkey This monkey is also guiding us So after those steps once again We have a few more to go Again, we have had worse tracks for sure. Who can forget Surkanda Devi Temple? Now they have a ropeway there. Do check out that video, Surkanda Devi Temple in Kanatal, Uttarakhand. And we are in, so there's an entry ticket of 100 rupees per adult. And you can have a child up to seven years of age for free so you can have it online as well which is much better because the ticket counter is slightly lower and you can see monkeys and enjoying coca-cola look at this beautiful palace mansing makes it worth 100 rupees of course and Ashwik, are you going to guide us here as well? Yes. Okay, let's go. Show us the spots. Show us the 22 monuments. This guide seems to have no clue. He's run away. Lots of places from where you can pick the pig. The Diwane Arm is a grand space where court gatherings and important decisions took place. Inscription Diwane Arm. That's 
The fort offers a panoramic view of the surrounding Aravalli Hills and the Mahuta Lake. The Amber Palace is said to have hidden chambers and secret passages adding to its mystique. Let's enter this structure. <laughs> Lots of guides here. They will tell you the importance of this. We haven't tried it anyone. Look at this. This is the Diwani Khas. Special people. Just like the Agra fort, you have here Diwani Am and Diwani Khas. The Shishma. Look at the number of mirrors here. It's the Shishma. The Shishma, also known as the Hall of Mirrors, is the jewel in the crown of the amber fort. The most striking feature is the extensive use of mirrors. Tiny, intricately cut mirror places cover the walls, ceilings and even some columns. Let's have a look at this. This creates a mesmerizing kaleidoscope effect, especially when lit by candlelight. The mirror mosaic aren't the only decorative elements. Colored Belgian glass and even precious stones are incorporated into the design, forming floral and geometric patterns. The interplay of lights and mirrors is what makes the Shish Mahal truly magical. When sunlight streams through the windows, the entire chamber comes alive with a shimmering brilliance. Built by Maharaja Man Singh in the 16th century, the Shish Mahal was likely used as a private chamber, perhaps for the queen. The mirrored effect is said to have provided a cool and calming atmosphere during the hot summers. Another interesting story says that within just a few lit candles, the mirrored ceiling would transform into a dazzling display of twinkling stars, creating a romantic ambience. The Shish Mahal is not just visually stunning, but also showcases architectural finesse. The mirrored surfaces are integrated seamlessly with the overall design, featuring a central dome and symmetrical structures. Visiting the Shish Mahal is a truly captivating experience. It's a testament to the creativity and skill of Indian artisans and a glimpse into the luxurious world of the Rajput Maharajas. Advertise shooting going on. So we bid Ado to the Shish Mahal, it was a wonderful experience. The Shish, Shish Mahal. Once you have seen the Shish Mahal, you can roam around there and move to the top. There are some ancient artifacts. On display around the, in the corridors. This is the throne and various other stuff like a kind of mini museum and even the ceiling here you will see has some mirrors on it, nice detailing and designs on the walls. This is on your way up. Look at the ceiling beautiful architecture and such doors this is an ancient door you also have an audio guide and 
and we are at the top. We have a telescope here. So we move around the top of this fort. Again, you can see uh, the Shishmal from the top and the Diwani Pass. There's a fort here. There are forts nearby. Nahargarh Fort and Jaigarh. These two forts also you should visit when you are here. Ashwik and Mom are having some fun. Look at these drawings, paintings on the walls, nice dome shaped structures, the architecture around here. And you can see these are the jarokas for light and breeze to come through. Very nice view. Just reminds you of our mall as well. So these are known as Jarokas. So you can explore a bit from the top. It gives a nice view, like I said, of the Aravalis and uh, nearby forts as well. So you can explore that around. Lots to walk and check out these domes also. You can go inside them and click photos for sure. Very nice view and that was a good day indeed. You can see one more fort. Must be Nahalgarh and the Martha Lake. That is the Chai Gar. So this is the Jai Gard, which is visible from here. The Jai Gard. And that's about it from this beautiful, great fort. The Amber Fort. We had a great time. The Sheesh Mall is something to watch for sure. And do check out my other videos on Jaipur and other cities. If you like the content, like, comment, share with your friends, and do subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get all the notifications. There's a tunnel here and this is something in which they used to cook food, it was known as a dig. Look at this view. If you are in Jaipur, must visit the Amber Palace to experience a piece of Indian history and marvel at its architectural beauty. And also you have to visit the Amar Fort in evening, uh, late evening that because they have a light and sound show in both English as well as Hindi. You can go for that, you should go for that for sure. Do check out our video on that, uh, click the link here and check it out. Thank you.